Hello, it's Rachel from Good Behavior Beginnings. And I wanted to talk right now about taking breaks from homeschool. Um, sometimes it feels or, or did to me when we were getting started that homeschool is just continuous and every day we wake up and we do school and that's year round, that's even on weekends because time doesn't matter in the homeschool world. Now that's not the reality as I'm learning, but I think it's also important to say that it's okay to take a break, um, especially if you are homeschooling for the first time and you're still trying to figure out what works and what works best for your family, um, or especially if you are um, dealing with other uh, frustrations or challenges right now, for example, a global pandemic, let's say. Um, so there might be a variety of reasons why you might take a break. And that break could be a, a different length, obviously, depending upon the reason. But I just wanted to start by saying it's okay to take a break sometimes. And I'm going to talk a little bit about how we have taken breaks already, only one semester in, and what that looked like for us. Um, so it might be something uh, when the holidays come around, there's just a lot of other demands, and so you wanna take a break, or if your learners um, have friends that are on a more traditional public school type schedule, they get official break times, you might want to have your kids available to interact with them or do something with them. Um, those might be reasons, holidays, uh, vacations, if you're going somewhere, now you can travel while, you know, you can learn while you're traveling, um, but maybe it's not going to look exactly the same. You might want to take a break between like a unit or between curriculum as you switch things up to kind of like clear um, your experience and get ready for the next one. Uh, you might just have to take a break to fit with a schedule. One of the reasons that we have um, taken a couple breaks, uh, sometimes it's just a day or two break, um, is because our schedule changes. Currently, we are in a situation where my schedule keeps changing for what I have to do for my work. And although it's all at home, the hours keep shifting. So that means that we kind of have to adjust our plan around that. And sometimes that means we're just going to take a break. We're just going to take an extra few days and not do any school because I just can't manage <laughs> sorting it all out at the same time. Um, you also can take a break just because you feel like it. <laughs> You're burnt out. You don't want to do school that day. Um, obviously, if you are feeling that way often, that you're very burnt out and that you don't want to, I would look and reevaluate and see if there's another way for this to work for you um, or, or a different system altogether to work for you. But you don't have to have a reason to take a break if you just need a break. So we have, like I said, we've taken a couple of days off sometimes when my work schedule has changed. And so that's just been, hey, it's an extra day off. You know, we, I think uh, they'd call it a snow day, except being in Alaska, we don't really take snow days because that would be, you know, nine months of our year. <laughs> so, you know, it's just a... Uh, it's just a day off, a random day off, right? So when we say take time off or take a break from homeschool, what does that look like? For some, it might be doing nothing particularly academic, um, maybe sort of an unschool experience where your learner is free to explore their interests and you are not setting an agenda and you are following their lead and if they choose to do something that's sort of academic you can run with it and if not that's okay um, if you don't want to go like completely nothing you'd still like to have some productive time during those breaks that are um, maybe between different things or, or a time period where things are just a little bit busier, you could do a mini unit. 
So a particular lesson or theme that's maybe centered around a particular holiday or a particular location um, or event and that is sort of the reason why you are taking the time off. So during the elections, it could have been an election uh, mini unit that's maybe only a couple of days or, or one day activity. Um, if it's around a holiday, it can be around, you know, activities related to that holiday, uh, those sorts of things. You could do cultural awareness. Again, this sort of ties in well with holidays. You could do a cultural awareness about how other cultures or in other locations, they celebrate the same holiday that you are celebrating. And it could be really short. We're not talking about, you know, a whole curriculum, just learning um, and applying it to what you're going through currently as a family. So, hey, we're going to celebrate this holiday. Let's also watch a video or read some stories or do a little activity about how they do this in another country as well. You could focus on like hands-on learning and generalization. And this is often what we do for like math skills, especially like fractions. Um, baking, we bake. And that requires that fractions and addition and subtraction and things like that. It also follows, it, it also involves following a recipe. So, you know, there's some pieces to that. It could be generalizing skills in another way. So you've been uh, learning about a certain uh, region and then you get to generalize that by watching a movie from that region or about that region as well. Or um, we did this a lot with our language arts. Um, we've read a story, we've done a lot about that book or that novel or whatever. And then we watch the movie version of it because generally there's a movie version of just about um, everything that there's a curriculum version of, I think, or somewhat related, right? Um, the last one that I would say is maybe a suggestion is do like a read week. We did this um, and it was basically there's a certain amount of time that you're going to spend reading and it can be like reading almost anything. So we did read some magazines that we've got subscriptions to like on animals and on science and uh, stories, those types of things. Uh, it could be listening to audiobooks. It could be reading the books that they already have and love um, and just rereading them, but really to kind of take the pressure off of reading and still make reading fun and enjoyable and not feel like work. So just having it for <laughs> pleasure reading. Um, and I think that that one worked really well for us. So those are some strategies of things you can do while you are taking a break from your normal homeschool. Um, but I think the overall goal is that anytime that you want to take a break, use that time to reassess, reflect on what's working, what's not working, and then return renewed with energy to support the learning, make changes where necessary, and continue down that path. So thank you very much for listening. Bye.